hello party people welcome to the channel today's video is going to be interesting because it's raining outside and my apartment has no insulation i've said this many times before but you guys might hear cars like driving by you probably just heard that it might get really annoying and i'm very apologetic about it so we're just going to carry on with the video because it's now january i thought i would do a little 2022 clothing recap and show you guys all of my favorite clothing items that i purchased in 2022 which i purchased a lot i purchased probably more than necessary most of what i'm going to show you today are like really classic timeless pieces that will stay in your wardrobe year after year good quality most of it is like pretty decent price points first i'm going to show you my favorite tops that i purchased this past year and then i'm going to go through bottoms i also have one jacket and a sweatshirt so yeah we'll just like go by category starting with tops all three tops i'm going to show you in this video are actually from aritzia aritzia has my all-time favorite basic tops these are like my layering tops i wear these to work i wear them casually at home out and about whatever you want really they're all pretty decent price point because again they're just like basic knit tops first i have the sunday best bliss hip t-shirt this i actually got pretty recently probably a month or two ago and i'm already obsessed with it i wear it all the time this top is 30 dollars. i got this in the color heather athletic gray it's really just like a stretchy knit top the reason i got this is because i really just needed some more basic tops to wear to work and i feel like every top in my closet is cropped and i was like i can't wear these to work you know unless i have a super high-waisted pants so i just wanted to get like a basic top to throw on for work that i didn't have to worry about being too short also i'm kind of getting to the age where i just don't want to wear all of my tops as crop tops like i'm 24 years old maybe we you know elongate the top a little bit not everything needs to show my stomach and this top is just so cute for whatever reason like a basic gray top right now just the color heather gray in general i'm really vibing with at the moment i don't even just wear this to go to work i wear it running errands i wear it at home because it's honestly that comfortable this is probably the softest top i've ever purchased in my entire life and it's honestly the reason that i purchased from aritzia time and time again for their tops because the quality and just like the material is so soft it's honestly kind of mind-blowing especially for the price point i mean 30 dollars for a top is really not bad especially because i was shopping on the skims website the other day kim kardashian's brand obviously and her basic tops like this are around like 50 dollars if i'm not mistaken they're definitely more expensive than the aritzia tops and i can almost guarantee that the quality is like very similar i've never purchased from skims so i can't say that for sure and i know there's probably a lot of skims stands out there who swear by the quality but i'm the kind of girl that swears by aritzia quality i mean if skims matches aritzia quality then i would be impressed like aritzia's quality is amazing i don't have much else to say about this top other than that it's so comfortable so versatile i love it i can wear it to work i can wear it at home it's that cozy where i like want to wear this as pajamas it's just honestly amazing and i purchased this in the size small i feel like with clothing brands normally i get a medium in my tops but for whatever reason with aritzia's tops i always get a size small and they usually fit and i'm a size six for pretty much everything that i wear next from aritzia i have obviously another little top for you this is the babaton contour crew cropped t-shirt it's 38 dollars which is a little bit pricier and i got it in the color black i also got this in a size small i got this top in the summertime it's honestly like a really nice top for summer trans fall obviously with it being winter right now i don't wear this top as much as i do in the summer spring fall time but i do live in los angeles so i still do wear this from time to time but it definitely is more of like my summer top because it is a cropped top obviously and the material it's kind of hard for me to explain to me it's kind of like a athletic e material sort of i'm really really bad at explaining fabrics but on their website it says that this is babaton's signature contour fabric which is a luxe ultra flattering fabric coveted for its smoothing effect and second skin feel it's really just like a stretchy how do i even explain this almost like spandexy i don't know i'm probably completely throwing you off but it's definitely like an athletic -y sort of fabric super stretchy super comfortable usually i 
just throw this on with some black leggings and like wear it out on the town running errands and whatnot i just love it i honestly just wore it all the time i wore it when i went on hikes i wore it like going grocery shopping wore it at home i definitely couldn't wear this to work it's a little bit too cropped not even like high-waisted pants would cover my midriff so this definitely isn't like a work-friendly top but it's also not like an athletic top i probably wouldn't ever wear this to a workout class or like going to work out in general but it's just like a really easy top to throw on and like pair with jeans pair with leggings and just like run errands in i also just like wore this at home all the time it's super comfortable and it's definitely like nice and tight and form-fitting and i definitely like that i got it in the color black it just honestly goes with everything it's super cute super comfortable and just like a really nice easy layering top to throw on next i have a tank top which again i purchased in the summertime and i honestly wore it all the time there was a point where i was like on the lookout for the perfect tank top i'm pretty sure i bought like five tank tops from aritzia just to see which one i liked the best and then i like returned the four that weren't my favorite this one ended up being my favorite i honestly could not recommend this tank top enough it's called the tina chill bergman cropped tank i got it in the color heather chrome i got it in the size small i'm pretty sure yep and this is 25 dollars. right now it's actually on sale for 15 dollars. so if you're interested definitely definitely hit the website right now it's just a super basic cropped scoop neck tank for whatever reason at least like on my body type i found it to be really flattering i don't really like any tank tops that are too too revealing or if they have spaghetti straps like that's just a little bit too revealing for me for whatever reason i just felt like this looked the best on my body type i like that it was a little bit cropped again i would just wear this with some leggings sweatpants whatever you want really it's not the absolute softest material but for the look that i was going for I didn't want anything that was too clingy and like silky soft and smooth I do actually have some tank tops and camis from Aritzia that are in their really soft fabric very similar to the gray top I showed you earlier which is definitely like a super soft cozy material when I was looking for a tank top I knew I didn't really want to buy it in that sort of material because it tends to be super revealing if you don't wear a bra with it it's gonna show everything I mean everything I didn't want something that revealing in that pajama like i just wanted something a little bit more wearable i wore this out and about all the time i never wore a bra with it and to me it just had like slightly more coverage and like shape to it sometimes when you get those really soft materials they're very like slinky and this one just like holds its shape i don't know me trying to explain this is quite literally not happening but i don't know i had a very specific image idea in mind when i was looking for like my perfect summer tank to wear out and about and this is the one that i found that i absolutely love and all three of these aritzia tops come in tons of different colors and honestly i'm gonna be buying every single color of all of them at least for the first one i definitely want to get it in like white and black i mean pretty much i want to get all of these in like white black and gray because they're just amazing they're so versatile you can wear them with everything next i have another fairly recent purchase honestly of everything i'm going to show you well I can't necessarily say that, but I feel like if I would have bought these six months ago even, I could have said like, these are my most worn clothing item of all 2022, but the fact that I bought them in November, December timeframe, I can't really say that considering some of these items I've had since the summertime, but for real, I wear these 24 7 probably every single day which is pretty gross but i do like wash them pretty consistently i'm obsessed with these could not say enough good things about these leggings these are the victoria's secret cotton highway flare leggings they're 40 dollars, but i did get them on sale for black friday i'm pretty sure i got them for around 20 25 dollars right now they're actually on sale for 35 dollars i got them in the color brushed heather gray i feel like black leggings have been like the all-time ultimate most worn clothing item for most people for the last few years probably i know i wear my black leggings almost every single day i'm tired of black leggings okay recently on tiktok i've been seeing more and more girls wear a heather gray flare legging and the more i saw it the more i was intrigued these are just for whatever reason 
the cutest leggings to me right now. Heather Gray in general. I mean, obviously already a lot of the things that I've showed you are in the color Heather Gray. I'm just really liking that color at the moment. They're just so cute. I love wearing them with all of my sweatshirts, tank tops, basic tops, you name it. I wear these with everything. I obviously mostly wear these at home, but I do wear them like going on errands. The only thing I will say is I do feel a little bit extra exposed in these than I normally would in my black leggings just because Heather Gray shows a little bit more, obviously. And you know, the camel toe situation, it's not the most ideal situation, okay? I just gotta say it. It definitely um, lends to showing that a little bit more than black leggings do, which if you are like hyper concerned about that, maybe just wear these at home. I don't personally care too, too much about that. So like, I just go out and you know, if people be looking, that is their problem. They can like stop being creepy. But other than that, they're just a vibe. I mean, they're cozy, they're cute. They're super flattering on the booty. Definitely more flattering than a basic black legging. I mean, they're just like show everything. These leggings definitely aren't like a workout legging. I mean, I totally would wear these going on a walk or going on a hike, but they're definitely not for high impact workouts, especially because Heather Gray shows sweat like nothing other. But personally, if I'm just like lounging, going on errands, running, getting coffee, whatever, I'm putting these on. These are the first things that I grab. Also, I did get these in a size medium. I would recommend sizing up if you're between sizes. They do run a little bit small for Victoria's Secret sizing. I feel like Victoria's Secret, usually their things run a little bit larger, if I'm remembering correctly. And I almost bought these in a size small, but then when I read the reviews, everyone was kind of saying that they ran pretty small. So I got a medium and the medium fits perfectly. I mean, I just love them. They're so cute. They go with everything. Throw on some sneakers, throw on a little sweater. It's just probably the cutest outfit you've ever worn. So the next two pairs of bottoms I'm going to show you are kind of like work pants. They're not necessarily work pants. They're just pants in general. The first ones that I love are the Abercrombie tailored wide leg pants, originally $90. I feel like everyone has been talking about these pants this year because to me, they're kind of the perfect work pants. They've got some like nice tailoring effects with like the pleats and whatnot. They've got just a regular zipper and instead of buttons, they do have Ooh, these little hooks at the top. I just love these. They're just a super basic wide leg pant. I got them in the color navy. You got the belt loops. I mean, the quality and the fit of these is kind of amazing. The price point obviously isn't amazing. I mean, you really are getting what you pay for here. Another amazing thing about Abercrombie pants is they're super size inclusive. I'm pretty sure you can get from a size extra extra small to a size extra extra large they also sell these pants in a short length a regular length and a long length so they're height inclusive size inclusive i mean pretty much anybody can get their hands on these pants which i really really love about abercrombie's sizing selections i searched high and low for like a perfect pair of work pants and honestly these just kind of fit everything that i wanted i love the navy color it's just like a true classic navy they also have tons of other color options. They have gray, brown, tan, beige, white, black. I mean, truly everything. I just feel like the fit's perfect for me. The length's perfect. I got the regular length because I'm 5'5", five five, so I'm like pretty much perfectly average height. The weird thing I did notice about these pants on the website is there were two different links for the exact same pant. On one link, you could buy either extra, extra small to extra, extra large. On the other link, you could actually pick a pant size. For instance, I got the size 20 29 inch waist which is a size 8 which I'm actually a size 6. The weird thing about these pants is when I was reading the reviews is everyone was saying that these ran really small. So I think they got rid of their pant selection where you can actually pick your like waist measurement because I'm honestly pretty sure that their like waist measurement was inaccurate and now they're just sticking to the pants where you can buy small, medium, large, whatever. Honestly probably a tangent I didn't need to get into but the reason I'm not telling you I got like a size small or size medium is because I actually got them in a size 29. Also, the one bad thing about these pants is they are always sold out, always. It took me months to buy these in the navy colorway in my size. I literally checked the website every day for weeks, if not months. For my size to go in stock in this color they finally did i got my hands on them but just don't be surprised if you go on the website and they don't have them in stock because 
it's just it's a nightmare they're never in stock all of the colors are sold out all the time if you want to buy these pants honestly i would just like keep the link up in your browser and refresh it every single day just like waiting for your size to go back in stock the other thing with these is i would say only buy them when they're on sale they go on sale all the time randomly throughout the year i feel like every other week they're on sale slash full price so personally if you see them online and they're full price i mean if they're in stock in your size i would say maybe just buy them because if they go on sale your size probably is going to be gone forever but if you don't want to spend 90 dollars on them they do go on sale literally all the time so just keep that in mind next i have another oh my lighting is very interesting right now i'm the color of casper the ghost what's going on so the next pair of pants i have are another pair of pants from abercrombie these are the linen blend tailored wide leg pant i got them in the color white and these are 80 dollars. i actually got these during the summertime and these were definitely my most worn pant in the summer they pretty much look exactly like the navy pants that i just showed but they're in a linen fabrication which is definitely a more like summery lightweight wavy kind of fabric but they have the same like details the same zipper these pants also have the hooks at the top and these pants also have the same pleating details seaming details on the top tailored details if you will and they're just a wide leg linen pant i feel like i like the navy pants a little bit more than these just because these can get dirty very easily obviously i got the color white and the bottoms like they're forever stained i've washed these so many times they're just a little bit stained at the bottom and they probably always will be because they're dragging on the ground that's the other thing with these is they're abnormally long i would say you can also buy these pants in short regular and long lengths i bought them in the regular length and i feel like they just run a little bit longer than the regular pants that i just showed so for me these like are definitely slightly too long even though i bought them in the regular length but other than that they're a super comfortable pant honestly my favorite work pants just because i felt like i was wearing pajamas wearing these to work but they still look really elevated and nice with like the pleating details i mean they have belt loops they look like a nice pant but they're just super cozy flowy easy to wear with pretty much anything i also felt like a white pant was just nice to have because there's certain tops that i have that really only went with white and i really just kind of wanted to get a pair of white pants so that i could wear them to work and pair them with those specific tops they also do have pockets similar to the navy ones i don't think i showed that when i showed the navy pants but both pants do have pockets and yeah they're really cute they're really cozy i wore them all the time in the summer definitely not as versatile as the navy pants because they don't really go year round as much but they're still really amazing for the summer i do have one sweatshirt to show i got this almost exactly a year ago probably january of 2020 so i've had this for a very long time and it's still an absolute favorite of mine this is the brandy melville christy hoodie they have tons of different versions of the christy hoodie some of them have like city names on them some of them are just plain hoodies with like no verbiage just like a plain gray hoodie they also have like color block versions where you would have like a gray hoodie with a navy hood brandy melville sweatshirts are my like go to sweatshirts i know brandy melville kind of comes off as like a middle school high school brand like pretty much nobody over the age of 18 shops at brandy melville except for perhaps myself but if you don't shop at brandy melville honestly you're sleeping on it because their loungewear is amazing honestly mostly just the christy hoodie because i find that a lot of their other clothing runs obviously so tiny but their christy hoodie runs extra oversized and i love an oversized hoodie like honestly the bigger baggier the better i mean these are so oversized like they definitely cover your butt even my boyfriend fits in these sweatshirts and he's like not a small man he's definitely like pretty big i mean in men's clothing he wears a large or an extra large and he fits these so when i say oversized i mean oversized and honestly brandy melville they just have the best colors i don't know the cream with the green they always just have like really cute color combos and again they just have so many versions they have different cities and they just have the best neutral colorways everything's in like black gray navy hunter green and i'm pretty basic everything i wear is very neutral ground so 
I am obsessed with the Brandy Melville hoodies. And honestly, they're pretty reasonably priced. I'm pretty sure this one was like 40-ish dollars. But as far as I know, all the Christie hoodies range between 30 and 40 dollars, depending on whether it has like verbiage on it or whether it's plain, color block, whatever. And they also only come in one size. There's just one oversized fit, one size fits all. Obviously, this wouldn't be oversized on everyone, so I do understand how Brandy Melville is very annoying in that way. I hate that about Brandy Melville as well. They have many other clothing items that I would like to buy, but I can't buy. I honestly can only buy their oversized fit clothing items because all the other one size fits all clothing items are absolutely tiny, but I do love their oversized fit Christie hoodies. They are amazing. I wear this sweatshirt all the time still even though i bought it a year ago so yeah definitely check out the brandy melville website or if you have a brandy melville location near you check the sweatshirt out it's amazing okay lastly i do have the jacket and it is the jerf avenue denim on the go jacket i got it in the color cream my boyfriend actually got me this jacket for christmas so i've only had it for about a month but i am obsessed with it i've had this on my wish list for months months and months and months i saw it on the jerf avenue website and i just so badly wanted to buy it but it's just a little bit expensive this jacket is 180 dollars so it's not cheap, okay? It's not cheap. It's such a basic jacket. Like it's literally just a denim cream jacket. The only like redeeming detail about it is I feel like the little pocket on the arm. I absolutely love it for some reason. Other than that, I mean, it's quite literally so basic. It is cinched at the bottom, which I think is really cute and cinched at the armhole and it has like the little jerf avenue logo i feel like this jacket is super washed out in the camera right now but it does have the little jerf avenue in white and it's like embroidered on super basic but for whatever reason i just find it so cute it's so easy to throw on over sweatshirts tanks tops whatever i live in los angeles again so i don't always need like a big jacket and i thought that this just would be the perfect jacket to throw on pretty much year round depending on the weather and it really goes with everything i mean i love Love it so much i only got it a month ago but i've seriously worn it almost daily at this point and i did get the jacket in a size medium i wanted it to be an oversized fit and when i put it on my wish list i put size medium or large because i didn't really know what size would be the perfect size and my boyfriend ended up picking the medium i feel like a medium or large would have worked the medium is still oversized like i do like the fit of the medium it's long enough where it covers my butt which is pretty much all i wanted and it's definitely like nice and oversized in the arms and like the body but i feel like a large also would have worked like i wouldn't mind if it was slightly more oversized than it is but i do like the medium all right you guys well that is the end of the video i'm obviously i don't know if it's obvious actually but i'm filming this outro on a separate day than i filmed the video well technically i did just film like the outfit portion of the video like my little try on portion i filmed like the sit down version of my video on monday and then my boyfriend came home early from his workout class and i thought i had more time to film lo and behold here we are but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video i hope it was helpful i am fully embarrassed that part of my try on portion i had to stand on the couch to show you my pants for the life of me the way like my apartment is set up i can never seem to get the right camera angle to film pants the way i would have to position my camera i wouldn't have a very aesthetic background and then i also have to stand like really far away and then nobody can hear me i'm still figuring that out i thought i would try to go on top of the couch because i was like you know what i don't know how else i'm gonna show these pants if you guys have any questions at all as always leave them in the comments below i'll answer any and all questions please comment like and subscribe i really appreciate it i just hit a thousand subscribers which is kind of embarrassing to say because it's like not a lot of subscribers but also i'm still so excited and like proud of myself that i'm still filming a year later i started filming like pretty much a year ago so thank you if you're subscribing and i would really appreciate it if more of you would subscribe but yeah hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day and i'll see you all in the next video